Good evening, guys. We are just waiting for your classmates to join the class, okay? Good evening, Evelyn. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Thanks. Great, Thank excellent. You? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Uh, how was your day? Excuse me. How was your day? Oh, um, good. It was good. Great. Awesome. Good, 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 good. Now let's see this one. We have here as well, uh, Edwin. Hello, Edwin. All right, so we have also Guillermo. Good evening, Guillermo. Good evening, teacher. All right, so how was your day, my friend? Mm, it was a good day, but I, I am a little bit sick, so. Oh, it's true. I remember yesterday you mentioned that. Have you gone to the doctor? No, not yet. You should, so before it gets worse. I mean, sometimes uh, the better is, is to go to the doctor. Right. But in my company, if, if, if you are sick and have, um, how do you say, incapacidad? Medical leave. Medical leave? Correct. If you have medical leave, well, they discount a lot of money. Oh, my goodness. So sorry to hear about that. All right, great. Let's see. We can also say hi to Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Yeah. All right, so we have Edwin. We have Maritza. Hello, All right. Hello, hello, hello. All right, excellent. So hello. thank you, everybody. We can start right now participating. All right. So, well, you know, as in every class, we have here this uh, activity that I like to uh, practice with you every single class, right? Which is the tongue twister. So let's see here. Take a look to the tongue twister that I have for you today. All right. Take a look, take a look. It says, if a black bot bleeds black blue, blood or blood, uh-huh, what will be this one? This one, bug, blood, blood, bug, bleed, blue, bleeds. Uh-huh. Did you hear the pronunciation of that tongue twister, my friends? Okay, excellent. So let's just continue right now here, all right? And that's going to be this one. If a black bug bleeds black, and what's the meaning of the next word after black? Yeah? Blood. Yes, blood. That one. Which one? Like this one. Very good. So it says, if a black bug bleeds black blood, what color blood does a blue bug bleed? That's easy. It's yeah. easy for tonight. All right. Eso so, es como sangrar, man. bleed, yes, correct. Bleed is sangrar, right? You go on that one. All right. And you go like if a blood bug bleeds blood, blood, what color blood does a blue bug bleed? Easy. All right, one more time, one more time. So I'm going to give you right now just one minute to practice it because it's easy, right? And you can practice this 
super, super, super fast. All right. So let's see. All right. One more time. Let's practice. Practice. Right. Remember, that is going to be there. All right. So oh, I see more people now joining the class. All right. So we have also right now Henry, Jill, Catherine. All right. Miguel, which is listener. I can listen to Nuria. All right. Hello, Nuria. All right. So let's see. Hello, teacher. We continue with this one right here. It says, if a black bug bleeds black blood, what color blood does a blue bug bleed? All right. So one more time. Let's practice. Let's practice. Let's practice. Come on, guys. You can do it. We can do it. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Excellent. 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 There you go. There you go. Very good. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Teacher. Tell me. Repeat, please. Of course, no problem. If a black bug bleeds blood blood, what color blood does a blue bug bleed? Did you get it? Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, okay, one more time here. Practice, practice, practice. I'm going to ask that in a couple of seconds. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. All right, all right. Good evening, Ursula. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Noe. Good evening, Maritza. Good evening, Tija. So let's see. All right, excellent. So let's just continue right now. And it says this one. All right, one more time here. It says, if a black bug bleeds blood, blood, what color blood does? A blue bug bleed. Who's my first volunteer? Volunteer, volunteer, volunteer. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's easy. Thank you, Jill. <laughs> if a black bull bleed, black blue, what color blue do, does a blue bull bleed? <laughs> thank you thank you so much for trying just remember that this word right here is pronounced with the sound of a letter o okay and oh. the same happens here this one it's just one letter o one letter o and here one letter o so it's just oh. like if if a black bug bleeds blood blood what color blood does a blue bug bleed try one more time okay um if a black, if a black dog bleed black blue, what color blue does a blue dog bleed? Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now you corrected the pronunciation of those words. So you were doing a very good job with that one. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Excellent. So now let's see. Who's my next volunteer? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Evelyn. Thank you, Nuria. So Evelyn goes first and then Nuria. All right, Evelyn, go ahead. Okay. If a black box bleeds black blood, what color blood does blue box bleed? Excellent. So thank you, thank you, right? So you pronounced the words correctly, right? Nuria, it's your turn. Okay. If a black box bleeds black blood, what color blood does a blue box bleed? Excellent. Also, all right. So you did a very good job as well, Maria, with this one. Thank you very much. Uh huh. Who's my next volunteer? Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ursula. Only girls tonight. The girls' power, mm -hmm. right? So go ahead, Ursula. If a black bull bleeds black blue, what color blue does a blue blue bleed? There you go. Excellent. So that was so easy for you, Jesus. All right. So. Let's see, uh huh. And the boys, no boys tonight. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Edwin, for representing us. All right, so let's see. If a black box bleeds, black blood, what color blood does a blue dog bleed? Thank you. Actually, a very good job from the guys team here, all right? Another guy or another girl, it doesn't matter, right? Who's going to be the next one? Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Let me see who's available. Supposedly here. He says, ah, hello, Daniel. I was about to call you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. If a black bag bleeds, black. Blue, what color blood does a blue bag bleed? All right. Excellent bag. All right. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. There you go. Excellent. So thank you guys for participating. So you see, this is just like, you know, as easy as it was, right? And it's going to help you to improve your pronunciation and intonation while repeating a tongue twister like this one. Then let's just go ahead and check this one. Okay. Take a look and see what we have here, people. This is something that we did last night. Well, it's not the same. It's different, all right? So take a look at this one. It, it is not the same, right? It's very similar to the one we were doing last night. So we are going to be able to uh, move the information. Remember, you are going to fill those blank spaces here with the information that you can see here at the top, like this one. So you use this information, all right? So, and then you're going to organize this information in those blank spaces so let's see but the difference is like tonight we are going to do it together right so let's see what is going to be the employee name what is it my friends donald duncan donald duncan very good so donald duncan very good excellent so we go on this one donald duncan all right so does this person need training yes or no Yes. Yes. Of course. All right. So good. What are the major tasks of the position? What are the activities that Donald has to do in the company? Mm -hmm. Hello? Quality manager. No. Remember those, uh, this one where it says major task of the position, that will be what are the activities that a Donald has to do in the company? Managing large amounts of open calls in a timely manner. Mm -hmm. Identifying customer needs and providing solutions, right? So yes, it's yes. this one, right? This one, this one right here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we're just going to start with the first part of the question with the answer, right? It says managing large amounts of outbound calls. All right, and we're gonna keep it like this. So to uh, save some time. All right, excellent. So let's see. What is the training, the training that this guy needs to receive? Mm -hmm. Yes. What's the information that it should be here? Is it this one, this one, this one, this one? What is it? Yep. What is it? Hello, hello, hello. Yes. Oh, maybe I lost connection. Let me check. Hello, hello. Are you there? What is it? Quality manager. No. Remember, what is the training? The training that this person needs, All right? So. Pay training after shift. No. <laughs> uh -huh. Is uh, uh, grooming, grooming and personal. No, my friend. 
Si usted no se ha dado cuenta, you haven't realized that this is different. Ah, <laughs> That's another one. Ok, es que voy entrando, lo siento. <laughs> yeah, but it looks like the one we did last night, right? It's similar, but it has different information. All right, so no worries. Uh -huh. Anybody else? Uh -huh. Noé, Ursula, Catherine, Jill, uh -huh. Guillermo, Evelyn, Edwin, Daniel. Yep, yep, yep. Mamá. Mamá. ¿Te gusta esto? Effectively solving customer. Yeah, that's the correct it's one. Really that's so actually the correct it. one. All right. So, which it says effectively solving. Uh huh. Customer issues. issues. And we continue, right, with that one. Effectively solving customer issues. Very good. Excellent. What's the date, my friends? What's the date? That's easy. Mon Monday, December 12th. Yeah, it's going to be like Monday, December 12th. Oops. There we go. Excellent. Who is the organizer or the provider? Yes, quality manager. Quality manager, that is correct, All right? So quality manager. There you go, excellent. And what's the training solution? Hmm? Yes. There is opportunities to upsell products when they arise. 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 All right, all right, all right. Excellent. So, okay, can you read it one more time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Say opportunities to upsell products when they arise. All right, this one. And what's the meaning of this? I don't know. Uh -huh. yeah. Um, no, I don't know, teacher. <laughs> no worries. It means take advantage, right? So let's see. Now it says right here the following. Okay. So what's it this one right here? We go and say this one. Okay. So and it says here. I mean, that's the correct answer, of course, right? The training, it's not this one, but that's on the training solutions, or yes, it's the training solutions. Pay training after shift. Mm -hmm. Yes, pay training after shift. Correct, all right, exactly. Pay training after shift. Shift, all right, excellent. Uh, okay, excellent. So. That's about like effectively uh, solving customer issue. I mean, it says, says opportunities to upsell products when they arise selling is hard for me. What is it? Mm -hmm. yes. What other areas would you like to, to improve? Yes, and the secret is here because it says selling is hard for me. And so this, this one is a phrase that you know, Donald will say, not the quality manager, right? So that's the reason why, when they lady said, you would like to improve. That's why it goes finally here, okay? So you got this one and it goes like this. It goes like says, or says, sorry, opportunities to upsell products. When they arise. And so on. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now you guys did it correctly. Right. So this is just like the training sheet. All right. So that we can actually field whenever we're talking about someone who needs the training, of course. Right. So let's see. Hey, do you have questions 
about the vocabulary, my friends? Questions about the vocabulary? Not yet. Okay, excellent. So now we are going to continue with the next activity for tonight. All right, so let's see. There you go, excellent. So, well, tonight we are going to start with a grammar topic, which is going to be the usage of will, 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 how to use will, all right? And it says right here, well, who can help me to read the uh, instruction? Uh-huh, volunteer for reading the instruction? Who is it? Look at the example. Okay, who is it? Then complete the exercise below. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you repeat it? Because uh, I couldn't hear it correctly. I mean, completely, right? One more time. Hello, hello. Look, look at the at the example in the box. Uh -huh. Then complete the exercise below. Thank you very much. All right, so we're going to like take this one. All right, and I need a volunteer right now that can help me uh, to read this part right here, which is going to be uh, this one, this part. This one, this one, oops, sorry. Uh-huh, this one. Uh-huh, what is it? Volunteer for reading that? Use will to make predictions to say what you believe will happen in the future. Thank you very much. As you can see there, we are using will, which is an auxiliary, a modal verb to talk about the future, right? And we are going to use it to make predictions to say what you believe will happen in the future all right so for example it says i think a famous chef will come to the event and if you had the opportunity to translate this sentence right here how would you translate it mm -hmm. yeah how would you translate this sentence this one. Yo creo que un chef famoso viene al evento o vendrá is, al evento. That is correct. Exactly, exactly, exactly. All right. So I think a famous chef will come to the event. Excellent. And what about this one right here? Which says the manager will prepare a new training for hosts. What is it? Yes, 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 yes. El gerente preparará un nuevo training, entrenamiento para los Y se es el gerente voy a preparar un what? Una capacitación. Una capacitación para los anfitriones. That's how you translate that one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. All right, excellent. Thank you. All right, so you are doing a very good job on that one. All right. And now let's see this one. We, it says that we also, who can help me right now to read this section right here? This one. This one, this one, this one. Mm -hmm. What is it? <laughs> Hello, read it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hello, my friends. Are you, you there? Use, use will for decisions that you make spontaneously at the time when you are speaking. Exactly. That is correct. All right. So it says, for example, in this uh, sentence right here. All right. So when it says like this one, it says, Consumers are complaining about a slow service. I will talk to the staff. So this is like spontaneously, right? But it's about future, basically. An activity that you will make in the future. Or like, for example, I will call the manager, which is, I will actually call the manager like that. All right? And then we continue with the next one. So can somebody help me with this one? The last one? 
Yeah. Use will to make a promise or to offer offer help to uh, some somebody. Somebody, yes. Somebody. Correct. All right. Thank you very much. All right. So to make a promise or to offer help as well in the future, right? It says here, I will be there at 9 a.m. How would you translate that one? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yo estaré ahí a las nueve. All right. Excellent. So that is something that actually I have to pay attention to there, which is just like how you translate it, which it means estaré. Estaré, comeré, iré, haré, prepararé, veré, etc. Right? So that is actually what you get when you're using will. I will go, I will eat, I will play, etc. And then the last one right here, which it means this one. I will help you prepare the documents for the training. What is it? Te ayudaré a preparar los documentos para el entrenamiento. That is correct. Excellent. So you did also a very good job on that one. All right. So do you have questions here? No questions? No, no teacher. Questions. Okay, excellent. So, well, let's just go for this one right here, which is going to be a very simple example that we can do to the, together. All right. So it says right here, who can help me to read the instruction? Uh -huh. Read the instruction right here. Yep. Please help me to read the instructions. Complete the sentences using will and the verb in parentheses. Thank you very much. All right, complete the sentences using will and the verb in parentheses. So this is going to be very simple because as you can see, the verb doesn't change. It's exactly the same verb, all right? And we only add will before the verb, right? So like, for example, here in number one, it says, don't worry. And what you can see here, it says, I will show, which it means that you add the auxiliary and then this verb that is in parentheses, so it goes here, right? So let's see. Um, it says here, don't worry, I will show you how to process a credit card payment. Now, who can help me with the next one? The next one, the next one. And make sure that you read the whole sentence. Uh -huh. Number two. I'm sure you will have a good time at the training. Exactly. So it says here, I'm sure you will have. Oh, I'm sorry. You is already there. Okay. You will have. A good time at the training. Thank you very much. Excellent. What about the number three? What do you do for number three? Me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. The training needs uh, analysis uh, will be a success. Mm -hmm. The training needs analysis. Aha. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Excellent. So what happens here is the following. What's the correct answer? Will be, only will be? Will be. Will be. All right, excellent. So I will say it here, it will be. Aquí le hace falta, my friends, que le hayan agregado esto al example. It will be. Be a success. All right. Este it tendría que haber ido. Um, sorry. Este it tendría que haber ido aquí. After analysis. All right. So let's see. Thank you. Everything else was correct. Number four. Uh -huh. Number four. Number four. Number four. Number four. I promise I will do my best to get a good score in the evaluation. I will do. I will do my best to get a score in the evaluation. Thank you very much on that one. All right. And then you go number five. Number five, please. What is it? She will not be. Exactly. She will not be. Very good. Excellent. So she will not be. Very good. She will not be. Uh -huh. Can you continue? Uh, late to the mating. Meeting. Meeting. 
Thank you very much. All right. Mm -hmm. And the last one. Do I have a volunteer for the last one? The manager will work. Uh -huh. Continue. How to help use improve. Help us. Help us. Repeat it. Help us. To improve. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. So that was easy here. Something that you need to remember uh, using will, it's that we have there contractions, which means like we join two words and we create a new one. That means this one. So for example, in here, it says right here, uh, when it comes here, you can have, for example, I will, which it means I'll, right? Or you can have, for example, you will, which it means you, oops, you, she will, you can have by she'll, and so on, right? You continue with the same as this one. And then we have the negatives that I will be like this one. So will not with the contraction is want. Repeat my friends, want. Want. Want, 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 want. want. That's the contraction right here. This one we will have right here. So for example, in number five, you can actually use it in both ways. Like will not be, for example, but you can also use the contraction and that's going to be want. So she won't be late for the meeting, for example. It's that clear? Yes, it is. Okay, yes. excellent. Thank you very much. And then, uh, do you have questions about this topic? No question, teacher. No, teacher. No, no questions? Teacher. All right, excellent. So, no. No había podido hacer esa en la plataforma, pero ahorita la voy a terminar. <laughs> yes, es que you, no know what, you know what happens? It's that this topic and the next topic on Monday are the last two for the platform, right? So that's why you have some difficulties. For example, uh, today in the afternoon when Daniel was asking for the answer, I believe it was future only will, but then I access to the platform and check the exercise and I realized that it's present continuous, which we are going to check that topic on Monday, which is the last topic, okay? But anyway, if you need my help, you can text me on the weekend, so I will be more than happy to help you. So, no questions, right? No questions? No sure? Questions. Sure? Okay. Yes. <laughs> He's like, yes, 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 continue. Okay, so, well, if you don't have questions for me, I'm guess what? For you. Exactly, excellent. Now you, you know what I'm talking about, right? So, well, ladies and gentlemen, I have here a test prepared for you. We're going to enter to the test. We're going to have a competition and so on, right? So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. You can join the test by clicking here on this link, or also I am going to share that link, uh, the WhatsApp group here, so you can actually access for any of both ways, right? So either using the WhatsApp group or using the chat here in Zoom. There you go, excellent. So we have the two links right there. Now, please access. Who I can see some people joining like immediately. You get like the advantage of the 600 points. So let's see. Denny, Guillermo, Nuria, Gustavo, Ursula. Yeah, Ursula, you are the last one who will get 600 points. Oh, Catherine also. Okay. Very good. I can see Esme. Oh, Reina got four only, 400. All right. Remember, this is like, for example, if you click on the link and you enter to the uh, test, like quickly, you get 600 point bonus. Then if you take uh, some time, so it's gonna be like less, mo less money, less amount of points. We have Evelyn also here, thank you. All right, we need one more here to continue. Maritza, hello Maritza. All right, all right. So what about the rest? We have like 18 people here. Uh, where is it? 
Ready, ready? David enter, right? He still got 200 points. Edwin also, very good, excellent. Yay, my friend, super good. Jill, welcome, Jill. Oh, you got only 200 points, right? But let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, okay, very good, very good, excellent, thank you. Let's see, one more to see if somebody else is connected. Well, I guess we can start with only you guys right here. So let's see. Ready? Yes. Okay. So let's see. Let's start. Let's go. Here we have the participants right now. Oops, somebody made a mistake. My goodness, right now. Oh my goodness, Jill. All right, so Danny, what happened? Oh, Catherine, okay. There you go. The questions are here. Okay, okay, okay. Very good, very good, very good. Excellent. Let's check this one right here. Very good. Good job, Guillermo. You are doing super good. Also, Gustavo. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ursula, what happened? Esmeralda, what happened? Very good, very good. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, Reina and Guillermo are competing for the first place, my friend. Super good. Excellent, very good. Excellent, excellent. Continue working on this one, people. Continue, please, 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 please.
Very good. Let's see. Oh my goodness, Reina, it's at the top now. What happens, Guillermo and Nuria? Good job, Maritza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Continue, please continue. Very good, very good, very good. We almost finished. Keep practicing, keep practicing. We almost finish. All right. Remember when the first five finished, then we finished the test. All right. Very good, very good. So we have three people already finished. Yeah, those two guys here, Gustavo and Catherine finished. And then we finished the test as well. Guillermo, you went back to the first place. Oh, also Reina, exactly the same amount, right? Very good. Okay, Maritza still has the opportunity. Let's see if Maritza can go to the first place. Place, 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 place. Mm -hmm. Oh, Maritza is getting close to the second and the first place. Let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, but it's uh, one more question. Epling also is one.
Thank you. All right, so we have a tie. First, second, and third place are exactly the same amount of points, right? 10,900, very good job. So we finish this one right now. Yes, 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 yes. So we have Reina. Well, Marita first, Reina second, and Guillermo third. Good job, guys. Really appreciate that one, all right? So now, let's hit this one. You know, guys, remember when I was asking, guys, do you have questions? And then you said, like, no, teacher, no questions. Miren cuánto le sacaron. Mm -hmm. Look at the score, my friend. So we need to actually work on something else right here. And it goes like this one. Mm -hmm. So I can see here the result one by one. Take a look, all right? So you see this one right here. Mm -hmm. That is exactly what I'm going to be uh, talking about, right? Okay. Now let's check this test together so we can select the correct answers right here, all right? So this is a, actually a, a question that most of you got correctly, right? 12 of you actually answered the question correctly. And what's the correct answer here, my friends? He will. He will, exactly, right? So you go on this one right here. He will arrive, exactly. Then you go on this one, excuse me. Then you go on this one right here, the number two. Will your parents live in, live or lives? Live. Live. Live, exactly, right? So, verbo va en su forma base. Then you go on this one right here, uh, which is this one. Ah, key, this is here. We will, am, um, want, or will. Uh -huh. What's the correct answer? One. Want. want exactly so it's just like want all right exactly that's the correct answer there and you go on this one the next one i don't think i thinking think i will think i think i will all right because this is the auxiliary que no está aquí all right so yes thank you mm -hmm. Let's see, what about number five? Number five, what the correct answer was? We want. Hello? Work, work. We want work, exactly, right? So why? After the auxiliary, we go with the base form verb. So the verb doesn't change at all, all right? Number six now says, will you go to the soccer practice on Saturday? Will you be? to the soccer practice on Saturday, or will you have to the soccer practice on Saturday? What is the answer, my friends? Go. Go. Go, of course, go, all right? So it cannot be be, it cannot be have. No tiene sentido, of course. All right, excellent. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Now we go with this one. I right, take a look to this one, miren. Aquí dice que like only four people answered this one correctly and nine did it incorrectly. Oh my God, but questions? No questions, teacher. Do you have questions now, my friends? Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> okay, let's see. What is the incorrect in this one? No, the correct one. The incorrect. The first, I will to be a vet when I grow. I will to be, okay. Yes or no, people? Oh, yeah, all right, yes. all right, all right. Excellent, yes. thank you. Thank you very much. Pero, like, pay attention to something here, right? Mira que dice aquí, todo está subrayado. Ah. Entonces, how many answers? The last. The yeah. last one. So here the answer was this one and this one. So two, right? Because it says are correct. Ah, you see, people. <laughs> All right. Very good. Very good. 
Yeah. Pero yo la puedo así me, me la marco mala. Ah, really? Which one? Yes. Ya vamos a ver, Evelyn. No worries. Right now, ahorita. All right. Let's see here. Vamos a ver cuál era la seven, right? La seven, la seven, la seven. Evelyn. Seven, 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 seven. Yes, sí, sí. It is incorrect for you. Ok, ¿qué habrá pasado aquí? Let me see. Igual en otra que decía que marcara la incorrecta. Y la marqué y también me la, me la tiró mala porque... Como que me la tomó al revés, pues como que quería que marcara la correcta. Yeah, pero right. decía que marcara la incorrecta. Yes, the incorrect. So those two are going to be the, the correct answers, right? Very good. We will check that later. All right. So what about number eight? All right. Which sentence is incorrect? Mm -hmm. Okay, Evelyn, what option did you choose here? Evelyn? Yes. Yeah, what was the option that you chose here? One, two, or three? La incorrect is two. This one, I think my little sister will to be a singer. This one, yes, that's correct. But it also could be this one. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go, excellent, thank you. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. So let's see this one. And now tell me, what's gonna be number nine? Which sentences? Sentences are correct. Which sentences are correct? Tell me. Talking about number nine. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Hello, are you there? Connection, internet, hello, class, students. The question, the question is incorrect. Incorrect. Mm -hmm. Oops. The number three. My. It's this one. Okay, and. It's this one because it shouldn't have two here. Number one. And number one, because that doesn't exist. Exactly, very good job, excellent, thank you. What about number 10, number 10, which is incorrect? My brother? Mm -hmm. my, my brother won't never have any pets. That is correct, that is the incorrect one, why? Because tengo aquí doble negativo. One. And tengo never. All right. Por eso aquí esta es correcta. Porque tiene el auxiliary y la palabra never que es la negativa. Entonces esta oración completa se vuelve negativa. Pero si ya tengo el auxiliar negativo, no puedo utilizar otra palabra negativa. That's the reason why. All right. Thank you very much. Questions about that, my friends? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 tell me. Uh, y, uno, y un, un verbo en presente progresivo, ¿cómo es? O sea, ¿cómo se usa en presente progresivo? Well, this is the topic for the next class. But I guess I will have to explain it para que ustedes puedan resolver los um, exercises que les ha pedido, right? So I will explain that in a moment, okay? Okay. All right, excellent. So let's see. Then you go on this one right here. Okay, so you go in 11. Well, aquí tenemos una picture. Esas son the pictures no salen aquí. All right, excellent. So, well, now let me ask you this one. Do you have questions, my friends? Mm -hmm. No questions? 
Are you sure? <laughs> Yeah. Tell me. Um, the, the question before. Which, which question? Uh, uh, I don't remember the name of the, the question. Uh -huh. but the, the, we have a two sentence correct, but one sentence. Uh, have only have in the order have to have. What is the difference? Oh, you say when the two I are correct. Know. Yes, two are correct, but one of them have have two in the order doesn't have the preposition two. Can you, can you tell me if it is this one? No, no. That's the number 10. Number 10, okay. My, bro, my brother will never have any pet. Mm -hmm. And the last one, my brother will never have any pet. Oh, okay, very good. What happens here is that after words like never, always, you know, like frequency adverse, we never use two. All right, so we never use two in this one. Um, you know, that never, always, sometimes, radically, et cetera, those are frequency adverse. That's the name of the grammar topic, okay? And after a frequency adverse, we never use two. We use the verb, right? So, for example, I always take a shower. I never go to the gym, for mm -hmm. example. All right. So, but if you said I never to go, that's not correct because grammatically uh, speaking, we never use to after a frequency adverb. So, uh, there are two sentences that are incorrect. That is correct. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. All right. Excellent. So let's see this one right here. Any other question? Mm -hmm. Teacher. All right. What? Uh, yes, tell al me. Al utilizar el will, en ningún momento va a cambiar ningún verbo. Mm -hmm. uh, no, the verb doesn't change. You know, with with, with uh, in simple future, the verb never changes. Using will, you will always have the verb in the base form. Okay, okay, thank you. All right, excellent. So let's hit this one. Okay, guys, listen. Uh, I am going to explain to you this topic here that um, I have to admit that I was not ready for this topic for tonight's class because it's for the next class. But anyway, we can take this as a, um, you know, as a reinforcement, right? So you can complete all the uh, tasks that you already have in the platform, on the platform, sorry. All right, so this is what happens right here. So we have this one, which is using the present progressive to express future time. All right, so yes, it is possible. Normally speaking, I don't know if you remember this, but the present progressive expresses normally activities that you are doing at the moment. So for example, if you are, if you say here, this one, I am eating. How do you say this in Spanish? Yo estoy comiendo. Yo estoy comiendo. Yes or no? Yes. All right. So it says, I am eating, yeah. yo estoy comiendo, right? Comiendo, sorry. All right. So what happens if you said, for example, she is singing? Mm -hmm. Ella está cantando. Ella está cantando. 
All right, that is correct. That's what you have right here. So it says, ella está cantando. Very good. Now, uh, and if we have, for example, how would you say it? Mm -hmm. They are playing. They are playing. They are playing. They are playing. Exactly. Ellos están jugando. They are playing. Very good job. Okay, so this is how the present progressive normally works. Es como funciona normalmente, right? To talk about actions or activities that you are doing at the moment. However, the present continuous or the present progressive also express future time, right? So like the examples we have right here. So take a look to this one. This one right here, para eso es, el uso es muy similar, basically the same meaning. Right, el mismo uso que cuando tenemos el going to. All right, so do you remember the going to, my friends? Yes or no? Hello? Hello, hello? Do you remember the going to? Hello? Going to a future too. Yes, it is for a future too. What's the difference between um, going to and uh, will? It's this one. Take a look. It says, for example, if you want to say, yo iré, you go on this one and says, I will go. And if you have, yo voy a ir, you have, um, well, oh, I am going to go. So you have this one right here, you see, like this one, which it goes like this, my friends. Okay, so you go here and it says like this, yo iré, I will go, yo voy a ir, I am going to go. Both expressions are for, uh, you know, for future, right? So to talk about the future. And then uh, you are going to use both of them to express anything that you want to say about future. The, this one right here, it, the difference, you know, grammatically speaking, according to the books, it says that will, it's going to be used whenever you have plans, like possibilities in the future, right? And going to, you're going to use it when you have, for example, definite plans. O sea, planes que van a ser una realidad. All right, so, entonces, eh, you go on this one right here. Eh, el uso del... Present progressive es parecido al then going to, which means like a uh, boy app. So, for example, if you have this one right here, you will see that in a moment. I'll show you here. Okay, one second. Which it says, okay, I'll show you in a moment. Just one quick second here. One quick sec. Okay, excellent. So I want you to Check this one right here. Let's see. Okay, excellent. So I'm going to show you this one right here so you can see it. Let me know whenever you can see the new screen. Can you see it? Yes. Yes, all right. This is what I want you to pay attention to. If I use in here, I will go to the beach. It says, iré a la playa, iré. All right. I am going to go, which means, voy a ir. I'm going to the beach. It says, voy a. All right. So like this one. This is con el example, like with the verb go. We can change those verbs as well. And we can actually have something different right here. For example, it says here, I will play soccer. 
on Saturday. And you have this one, what if football is Sabado, right? So what about this one right here? I'm just gonna change this one and I'm going to play soccer and I am playing soccer. One sec. And on this one right here said, I am playing soccer on Saturday, all right? So let's say this one right here. So you see a difference right now here? I will play jugaré. I am going to play, voy a jugar. I am playing soccer, voy a jugar like this one. So those two are the same, yes or no? Yes. All right, excellent. So yes. how do you say this one? Entonces, like, utilizamos la estructura gramatical del presente progresivo, que sería el sujeto, el verbo to be y el verbo en ing, nada más, para hacer referencia a un futuro cercano, right? So I'm going, I'm playing soccer on Saturday. Or I'm going to play soccer on Saturday. Estos dos de acá, this one right here, esos son los auxiliares oficiales, the official auxiliaries to talk about future, right? Ambos son exclusivamente para futuro, right? So to talk about future. La diferencia radica en cómo se traduce la oración. Like this one, okay? Pero esta de aquí tiene otra manera de decirse eh, con el mismo significado, right? Which is a través del present perfect, eh, sorry, present progressive, which is I am playing soccer on Saturday. Usted o está diciendo, voy a jugar fútbol el sábado, como si estuviera utilizando, I am going to play soccer on Saturday. All right, so, understand? Yes. 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 Tell me, tell me, tell yes. me. ¿Y cuál es el más utilizado? ¿Cuál sería el más utilizado? The three of them are very common. Ahí sí no oh. hay uno que casi no se ha utilizado. Like, the three of them are very common. It's like, for example, um, in Spanish, right? So, in Spanish, do you really um, use the difference between iré al super o voy a ir al super, for example, in Spanish? What's the most common one? ¿Cuál sería el más común en español? ¿Iré al súper o voy a ir al súper? Los dos. Exactly. Los dos serían. Exactly, right? So, this thing happens in English. Both of them are very common, right? La única diferencia sería acá que en inglés tenemos dos formas de decir la misma frase. Right? En el caso de decir voy a. All right, so in Spanish, we only have two ways to say it, all right? But then all of them are very common to use, right? Super common, by the way. Okay. Okay, any other question? No more questions? Sure. Tell me. Sure. But if I say uh, only I am playing, the traduction is just like one. That's right. So you can see that one right now. So we are going to, let me clean the screen here. So if I only have this one right here, like this one, do you see the difference? Yes, yes. All right, so of course I need context as well to give the proper meaning. So I would say, for example, in this case, I need um, a specific time in the future next week, tomorrow, on Saturday, uh, the day after tomorrow, the next month, etc. So I need a, a time expression in the future. For example, if I said tomorrow, like this one right here, so mañana we will football, it's about like the future, yes or no? All right. So how do you say, for example, here, if we switch this one from Spanish to English, how do you say, for example, ella estará en la playa. How do you say that one? Ella estará en la playa. Uh -huh. Excuse me? Hello, hello? She will be at the beach. Veamos. Ella 
estará en la playa. She will be on the beach. All right, excellent. So, how do you say then? Ella va a estar en la playa. She is going to mm -hmm. on the beach. She is going to on the beach. Así sería. Será. Vamos a ver cómo lo traducimos here. All right. Ella va a estar en la playa. She's going to be on the beach. All right. Excellent. So, and what happens? So, for example, si le damos light change right here, and we go on this one. She's, podríamos hacer eso. She's been on the beach. Mm -hmm. Ah, so that makes change this one. All right, so like so this one. As you can see here, you got this one right here, which is like the time expression in the future para poder hacerla en el futuro también. Which is, goes like this one. Y mire que interesting como lo traduce acá esto. You know, ahora siempre lo traduce como like, eh, estará. All right, so that's why we can actually say only one thing. Here, it is going to be about the future in both cases. All right, so now, any other question? No, teacher. Ready for another test? Yes, teacher. Excellent, because I have two tests more. Mm -hmm. So let's see here. Okay, okay, one second. We start loading this thing here. Okay, let's see. Quick, 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 quick second. Uh, in the meantime, do you have any other question, my friends? No questions? No more questions? No, this Okay, let's see this one right here, right? All right. How would you say those two things in English? Those two sentences that you have there. Uh huh. How do you say that one in English? Do you see the chat? Uh huh. Yes, 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 yes. Questions? No questions? Hello, hello. No more questions? Nothing. Okay, great. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, no problem. So if that's the case here, one second, my friends, because I'm trying to access here to your test, all right? So you can see it on the activities that we're supposed to be working on. Excuse me, okay? Okay, okay, so let's see here. Teacher, tell me. Um, cuando cuando se usa con present progressive, mm -hmm. eh, eh, se usa el verbo to be. Correct. The verb to be 
according to the subject. We are going, uh, sorry, si es I, sería I am. If it is you, mm -hmm. you are. If it is he or she, uh, it's going to be our, I mean, is too. Is, 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 is. Yes. All right. Okay. Okay, let's see here. One quick second. Okay, so let's see here, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Take a look at this one. I'm showing you here. This. Do you see it? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. As you can see now in the instruction, it says here, complete the sentences using will or the present progressive, right? So, which is actually what you have to do here. Then, eh, what are we going to do? So, we're going to see this one. We're going to do it together, the exercise, just to put it into practice. And it says right here, I can come with you on Sunday. I have a training at the restaurant. So, will that be will or present progressive? Remember that Wait. in the caso de will es un plan y el de present progressive es ya prácticamente un hecho en el futuro. So, which one are you going to use? Present. Present progressive. So, how yes. would you have the answer yes. here? ¿Cómo quedaría la, la the answer? I going. Um, ha, I'm having. Ha ¿Sería aquí? I'm having. Having. I'm having. I am uh, having, right? I am having. Uy. I am having a training. Very good. This one. You look tired. I. You finish the documents. So, ahí estoy yo ofreciendo algo. So, what will that be? Uh -huh. Will. Will. So, you said like, I will help you. Like that. Yes. All right, excellent. So and you go on this one. The kitchen manager fly to Italy. Este me estaban preguntando, right? So let's see if you remember. También está por aquí ya Daniel back. All right. Yes. So what was this one? Mm -hmm. The present progressive. Mm -hmm. it's why? Por qué? Why, why, why? Mm -hmm. um, or no will? Porque es un hecho. Porque es un hecho. O sea, ahí está el vuelo, ahí están los tickets. Que sea. Entonces, yeah, it's for sure that it's going to happen. Very good, excellent. And number four, it says the owner come to talk to us about training solutions. Will that be... ING or will that be um you know will will yes because it's uh no no dice cuando right because will. next week uh -huh. so dice que vendrá a hablar con nosotros pero it doesn't say when will come all right vamos a ver vamos a ver all right so we'll see we'll see he Uh -huh. Ese sí no me ha salido por más que le intenta. Es negativo. It's negative. Okay. Y con will o con, con uh, present progressive. Progressive. So sería is porque el, el sujeto acá is es el sujeto acá es he. ¿Cuál es el verbo to be para he? Is in is, ¿y cómo es negative? No, no, no. no, 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 no. Con... Working. Working. Va. Vamos a ver si this is actually correct. Okay. Incorrect. Incorrect. Yes. Vamos a ver. So, like this one. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh. Va, aprovecha, estoy dando copia. All right, so. <laughs> so, let's see. 
Aquí están las answers. So, aquí están, miren. I am having, vamos a mover aquí con cuidado. So, let's see. It says, I am having, oh, bueno, aquí le puse de más yo el, el I, porque ya estaba ahí, pero it's I'm having, so that's correct. Segunda, will help. Tercera, it's flying. Will come or is coming. Ok, aquí puede haber sido las dos de que tenemos correct. Y aquí lo que tal vez salió mala es por la contracción. Aquí la pedía contractada, ¿verdad? Right? Pero cómo saber. All right, so. Okay. So, do, do you understand now, people? Hello? Hello, hello? Do you understand? Do you have questions? Do you need more help? No, teacher, ya no question. Por eso no me salía, por la contracción. Okay, excellent. This is ahí, that could be in that way, maybe. All right? Any other people? Can, can we continue? Yes? Yes. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Now we are going to go back to the presentation. And we are going to have a role play tonight, like with the conversation here. Take a look, all right? It says, okay, everybody, I need a volunteer who can help me to read this instruction. Super short. Uh -huh. Who's my volunteer? Mm -hmm. Who is my volunteer? Come on, just read that one. Read and practice the conversation. Okay, very good. Practice the conversation, all right? I am going to read the conversation for you, and then you are going to go to the breakout rooms to practice the conversation with intonation and good pronunciation. And then uh, you are going to answer these questions that I have here for you. This one, right? So there's gonna be like two activities at the same time, practicing the conversation and then answering the questions. Oops, let's go on this one right here. So let's see, it says, I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning options next time. Yeah, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at the conference tonight. See you later. Easy, right? Okay, hey, do you have questions right now about pronunciation or meaning? No? No questions? Okay, Noel, you said yes. Okay, thank you, Ursula. Uh -huh. Noel, you said yes. Which one? Uh, pronunciation de pro proced proced procedures. Procedures. Repeat it. Procedure. There you go. Procedures. 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 Is yes. safe, safety, kitchen safety, or kitchen. Is yes. <laughs> safety. Safety. Correct. Safe. Safety. Uh -huh. Any other question? Yes or no? no okay, excellent. So let me create right now. If someone can take the screenshot and send it to the group at the moment, please, thank you. In the meantime, I'm going to work on the breakout rooms right here. Okay. So let's see, veamos, Edwin, Galdames, and Maritza, can you work together there? Yes, teacher. Yes, and Edwin, with Edwin here? Hello, Edwin. Hi, teacher. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. I understand. So let's see. Evelyn and Noe. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Sonia and Ursula. Yes, teacher. Thank yes, you. Teacher. Mr. Luna, will you be able to participate or are you only a listener? Listener. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Guillermo, are you still active? Guillermo. Guillermo's gone. All right. Catherine? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Jill, are you active?
Jill, Jill, Jill. Yes, teacher. Oh, Guillermo, good morning. I mean, I hi. have a problem <laughs> with my microphone. Oh, I thought you were sleeping, my friend. Excuse me. No, no. <laughs> no problem. So let me move you here with um, Jill. Catherine? Catherine. Yes. Okay, yes, Catherine teacher. is there. Uh, Daniel? Yes, teacher. Yes, good morning. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Okay, let's see. Um, Nuria? Yes, of course, active, right? Yes, teacher. Thank you. So you're going to be there with this one, the beginning. Okay. Number five and number five. Okay, excellent. So I have created the breakout rooms right now. Please accept the invitation, join the breakout rooms, and actually go there. Oh, let me just move here so you can see the next one for the screenshot. Did you send the screenshots to the group or not yet? Not yet. Okay, I will do it. Okay, sending the screenshots right now. Okay. First one, the second one, it's this one. Okay, just listeners here. Let's jump in number one. Oh, hello. Hello, teacher. Are you practicing? No, I mean, uh, Andre and you are like a listener. Oh, I can see right now. Don't worry. Let me switch you to a different room so you can practice, my friend. All right. Okay. <laughs> options next time yeah look at the time i'm meeting some friends at a conference tonight see you later okay i'm having to i'm having a training next week but i have to travel to another city sounds like you will be 
you will busy. I'm talking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning option next time. Yeah, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at the conference tonight. See you later. Okay, very uh, good. I have uh, teacher. Yes. Is will be busy or busy? I was about to correct that one because it's busy. Bus busy. Busy, correct. Busy. Yes. Okay. Okay. I having a training next week, but but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm talking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning option next time. Yeah, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at a conference tonight. See you later. I haven't a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training of kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning options next time. Yeah. Look at that. Look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at a conference tonight. See you later. I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm talking and learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning options next time. Yeah, look at the, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at a conference tonight. See you later. Okay. No sé si van a, eh, van a practicar Guillermo y Edwin. Sí. <coughs> Okay. I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy and I am taking an e-learning training up on kitchen safety. Producer this weekend, but I can't take take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning option next time. Yeah, a lot of time. I'm meeting some friends at conference tonight. See you later. Okay. I'm having a training next week, but you have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training on, on kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but I can take it, taking it from home. <clears throat> Cool. I will ask for Elin option next time. Yeah. Look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at a conference tonight. See you later. Very good. Excellent. Don't forget that you need to also practice the second activity, right? So to complete the the phrases that are there. The, the screenshots are on the... Um, on the group, right? 
Do you see them? Hello? Yes, teacher. Okay. Cool. Yes. Eh, respondemos entonces, look at the conversation and complete the sentences. Mm -hmm, correct. The number one is I'm having a training next week. Mm -hmm. What's the next one? I'm talking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures. Okay. Number three, I will ask for e-learning options next time. And the number four, I'm meeting some friends at a conference tonight. Very good. Easy, right? Questions? Not the chat. Thank you. Okay, excellent. So, well, that's the case. We are going to, well, I am going to visit right now a different room. Continue practicing the pronunciation of the conversation, okay? Because I will need some volunteers after this exercise, okay? Okay. Excellent, thank you. Let's see. You will be busy and taking an learning training on kitchen safety procedure this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning option next week, next time. Yeah. Look at look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at a conference tonight. See you later. I'm having a training next week, but I had to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety produce procedures this weekend, but I can't take it from home. From cool. I will ask for a learning option next time. Yeah, look at the time. I made some friends at, uh, at, at a conference tonight. See you later. Teacher. Hello, my friend. Tell me. Look at the time. Es como una expresión. Es como una expresión. Mm -hmm. Es como que decir, mira la hora, right? Uh -huh. Yo pensé que era como, no, nos vemos en un momento o algo así. No, that's an expression like, like when you try to refer to the time, right? They say like, like what I said in Spanish, right? Oh my God, it's late, for example. Uh -huh. Eso es como cuando uno pregunta la hora, vea. What mm, time? The, the word, <laughs> yes. The word time, yes. But the, the question is a little bit different because you say, what time is it, right? Pero In, este es como, mira. Ajá, eso es como, mira. mira la hora, ¿ves? You know, so it's like, it's late, right, basically. Mm -hmm. Y learning mm -hmm. es como aprendizaje electrónico. Exactly. It's like online courses, like the ones we are taking right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
me quedó claro que el uso del will es como para futuro y el pre present progressive es como una afirmación que está como haciendo. All right, excellent. So, well, um, ambos son para futuro. Okay, mm -hmm. eso que, que nos quede clear, right? Both are for the future. Now, uh, the difference is that el will está más associated como a planes o situations que no están like 100% sure that it's going to happen, pero seeing in future, right? So, for example, si yo te digo, eh, sí, ahí te voy a explicar el tema, pero I didn't say when, no te dije cuándo, entonces ahí quedó, pero para futuro, pero I didn't say when. I was not specific, you know? Okay. And then, si te digo, yeah, te voy a explicar mañana, that changes, because ya te di seguridad de cuándo nos vamos a reunir para explicar, for example. Understand? Sí, sí, sí. All right, so that's that's the main difference, right? So yeah, both are for future, but the first one, it's not that specific, and the second one is more specific. Otra pregunta respecto a la plataforma. Okay. Eh, yo le estaba preguntando eso ahora porque me escribieron, me dijeron que las tenía que tener lista. Sí, hombre, yeah, like, it's true, it's not only for you. Es que, I, you know, I don't know, well, I was going to check that one, pero like se me adelantaron en, en um, you know, me ayudaron a contactando a todos, right, pero no sé si hacía falta un topic, por eso es que ahorita, en la unique sí, number yo, four. Más que nada, esas últimas dos, bueno, la que le pregunté, si no, no me daba, pero las otras sí ya las había hecho, solo en Pero la verdad que era, duda. era este, en, el espacio. Era, Mm. What happens? Porque la respuesta la mayúscula. La mayúscula. Sí, era mayúscula. Oh, okay. Yeah, es que, you know, that happens sometimes when the online test, que ya tienen una respuesta, like, specific, sin espacio, mayúscula, o un punto al final. Entonces, if you don't do, or you don't add that information, te la marca como mala, aunque, like, you know, the idea is correct, of course, right? Ajá, uh -huh, sí, sí. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah, don't worry. So, but like, you know, basically, uh, now that you have the book right there, my friend, can, can you move the book? Can you scroll up? The book? Daniel? Okay. Oh, scroll down. I'm sorry, then. There you go. Excellent. I, sta I have a wheel and a lot of person progressive. This is for the next class. And there are those exercises that we are going to cover in the next class. Continue. Yep. Mm -hmm. More. Yeah, and that's basically like the next one. I put like for the next class, the grammar topic was going to be um, the present progressive, right? Lo que adelantamos ahora un poquito, right? And, uh, you know, it's a topic about personal training. So, and with that one, we are going to finish the, the level. More questions? Okay, excellent. So let's go back to the main session para que you can participate. You're going to be a volunteer, right, Daniel? Okay. <laughs> All right. Very good, very good. Waiting for everybody to join the class.
Okay, everybody, I can see you here. Welcome back to the main station. So we are going to listen to you pronouncing this easy conversation here. All right. Well, reading actually. All right. So reading that conversation there. So let's see. Now, um, I need two volunteers who are going to be my first two volunteers. Ursula. Hello, Ursula. All right. Ursula, who are you working with? With Sonia. Okay, Sonia and Ursula. Ready, girls? Go ahead. I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e learning training on kitchen safety procedure this weekend, but I can take, take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning option next time. Yeah, look at the time. I'm marrying some friends at a conference tonight. See you later. Okay, great, excellent. Now, do me a favor, Sonia and Ursula, switch. Okay. All right. I am having training next week but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training on safety procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning option next time. Yeah, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at the conference tonight. See you later. Thank you. Good job, girls. You were doing it fantastic. All right. So, Sonia, good job. All right. So, by pronouncing the words correctly, trabajemos en la intonation. We know, para que no suena como like, I am having a training next week, sino que suena un poquito más de corrido, right? I am having a training next week. Try it. Intentémoslo. Okay. I am having a training next week. Okay. Excellent. Que la pausa sea porque hay una coma, right? So, I am having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Una vez más. Once again. Okay. I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. There you go. Excellent. You sounded totally different. Mucho, mucho mejor. All right. So better, better, better. Good job. And Ursula, super good in both roles, right? Thank you for respecting the punctuation. Like, for example, when you see an exclamation mark, you say like, oh, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at the conference tonight. See you later. So I, I really like that intonation. So good job, Ursula. Thank you. All right. So let's see. Who's my next volunteer? Mr. Membreño and Evelyn. Were you working together? Yeah, right? Yes. Okay. Please go ahead. I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety producer this weekend, but I can't take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning option next time. Yeah. Look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at the conference tonight. See you later. Thank you. All right. I want you to also switch roles, but Daniel, you need to sound with more energy, my friend. All right. <laughs> because right now you're sounding like, sounds like you will be busy. Okay. No, right? so, like, sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home, like with energy, my friend. Okay. Continue one more time. I'm having a training next week, but I haven't. I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but I can't take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning option next time. Yeah, look at time. Look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at the conference tonight. 
See you later. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much better. Thank you, Daniel, for correcting the intonation. And uh, also, my friend, you are doing a very good job on this one. That was Evelyn, right? Yes. Yeah, thank you, Evelyn. So super good job in both uh, roles, right? So you did it good. Thank you. All right. Uh, another couple of volunteers. Two volunteers more. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Hello, two volunteers more, uh-huh. Me, teacher. So it's you, Noé, and Noé, who were you working with? Uh, Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn, ready? Okay. Oh, you, Evelyn, you were working with the two guys. Okay, fine, continue. Oh, you know what, Evelyn? Give me a second, give me a second. Let's see, I look for another girl right here. Where is Catherine? Nuria, who's there? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, Evelyn, thank you for helping me, but you already participated. So let's give the opportunity to Nuria. All right? Okay. Thank you. Go ahead. Uh, Noe, if you want, you can start, and then Nuria is going to be Julia, and then you change. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm having a training next week, but, but I have to travel to travel to another city. Sounds like you will. DC, I'm taking I'm taking a, a new learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for a learning option next time. Yeah. Look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at a conference tonight. See you later. Very good. Excellent. All right. So uh, just remember, for example, Noria, when you were talking here. Right, it's just like, I am taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend. No hay pausa hasta que llegas eh, here, weekend, right? So you go like, okay. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend. Try one more time. Okay, I, I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend. Okay, that sounds different, right? Porque la pausa la hicimos por aquí. All right, before, so you can, no problem. Thank you. Now, okay. change. Uh -huh. Nuria, you start. Uh, I'm, I'm having training uh, next week, but I, but I have to travel to another city. It's all right. You, you will be busy. I'm taking a learning training of the kitchen safety procedure this weekend. But uh, I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e learning option next time. Yeah, look at the time. I meeting some friend friend at the conference tonight. See you later. All right, excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you for applying all those changes, okay? Very good. Thank you, everybody who participated. You know, I really like when you participate, right? So because I can hear you guys and listen to your good English level. So now let's see. Let's go with the last activity for tonight. Whoa, we have this one. This is easy. Who can help me with number one? I'm having a training next week. All right, it says right here. Let me just make it a little bit smaller. This one. Okay. All right, it says here, I'm having. It says here, I am having. Oops. I am having. Uh, question, teacher. Tell me. Is it having or is having? Oh, no, it's just like having, because it's the verb have. Like, for example, how do you say, yo, yo tengo un carro. How do you say that? I have. Okay, so yes, the same. You got it? Okay. All right, excellent. So then, let's see, the next one. Um, this one right here. I? Talking and in learning training. I am taking... Very good, excellent, thank you. I am taking this one. I will. Very good, I will. And the last one? I'm 
I'm meeting. All right, I'm meeting some friends at conference tonight. Thank you. That was just basically the same sentences for um, the paragraph. Now, this is the last activity, all right, for tonight. We're going to do it together right here. Vamos a ver cuáles son estos terms that we have right here. It says, of the shelf training courses. Repeat with me, my friend, on of the shelf training courses. Repeat it. Of the shelf training courses. All right, wow. excellent. So in, what's the meaning on, on the shelf training courses? Uh-huh. No idea, teacher. No problem. All right, so like that one, all right, so it says here, mm -hmm. what is it? I'm sorry, it says like off the, che off the shelf, all right? So what is it? Off the shelf training courses, it means right here, this one. Um, like this, cursos de formación listos para usar, como la ya ready, yeah, like we use it here. Ya los tenemos solo para access to them, all right? Then we have the next one right there which is this one, in-house training. Repeat everybody, in-house training. In-house training. In-house training. All right, which it means, ¿qué significará eso? Do they the training? In class? From home. Okay. From mm home. -hmm. Exactly, from home. Then we have the next one, all right? So, shadowing, what is shadowing? Sharing. Sombrear. Sombrear. This is very common in a call center, right? So, which it means just like, um, you know, sombrear, but the definition will be follow and observe. All right. Basically, like that. All right. Thank you very much. And we have the last one, number four. What is it? Number four, it mentoring. says here mentoring. mentoring. What is mentoring? That's coming from mentor. What is it? It's a person who helps another uh, person uh, with um, um, transmission, the knowledge. Uh, knowledge. Exactly, knowledge. right? That is the person, and that is the word mentor. Mentoring would be the, um, the noun, right? So, la tutoria in this case. All right, let's see. I need four volunteers right now, people. You know, entre más rápido me ayuden a leer, we finish faster, all right? So who's my first volunteer? Number one. Me. Thank you. Go ahead, please. Number one. Um, yes. It, it, it involves one employee following another employee, like a shadow to learn all of the aspects of a job. This mm -hmm. is especially suitable for new employees as part of the induction. Very good job reading, Ursula. That was super nice. And what's the answer here? Uh, number number three. one, two, or three. Exactly. It says shadowing. Aquí estaba la respuesta, right? Like a shadow, mm -hmm. right? Awesome. Thank you. No volunteer for number two? Me, teacher. Thank you, Nuria. Read, please. Cheaper generic course the staff will join employees from other business on the course some of these courses are des designed to achieve or come towards a particular recognized qualification qualification exactly right so uh, Nuria, repeat with me generic courses repeat it generic courses good job excellent so what number is it um Mm. In house training? Mm, Mencionó algo de estar en casa? Mm, no. Number one. So it's number one. Los cursos que están ahí ya para tomarse, right? Good, exactly. Good, good, good. Eh, number three, volunteer? Me, teacher. All right, thank you, Daniel. Go ahead. It involves the formal transitions. Transmission of the knowledge and social capital over a period of time with some face-to-face -face meetings, use of email and telephone communication. It is essential to have a mentor. There you it's, go. Uh, mentoring. Mentoring. That's going to be number? 
four. Four, very good, excellent. And the last one, who can help me with the reading? This is number two, of course, but who can help me with the reading? Uh -huh. Me, teacher. Thank you, Evelyn, go ahead. It allows people to learn at their own place and to apply new knowledge mm -hmm. immediately. Mm -hmm. The trainer must be technically, technically? able, technically uh -huh. able, able to do the task and have the practice to patience. teach. Or the patience, the patience. The patients uh -huh. to teach of coach. Or coach, excellent. Thank you very much, everybody. So yes, this is now the last activity. You can go and rest. Remember, you have to finish now all the uh, tasks that you have assigned in the platform. If you have questions, you can text on the group, right? And I will answer there. Uh, you know, in case you have problems with any answer or anything like that, okay? And remember, we have one more class on Monday. So I will see you on Monday, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Good evening, my friend. Take care. Good night. Good night. All right. So bye-bye.